Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, we will learn how to make plate flanges. Plate flanges are used for low pressure services or to blind the nozzles of vessels, tanks, etc., for hydro test purposes. Other use of plate flange is making temporary spools to replace valves and equipment on a piping system. There are two types of plate flanges, open and blind. To make a plate flange, we need to know the following things. OD, the outside diameter. ID, the inside diameter. PCD, the pitch circle diameter. Number of holes and the hole size. Assume that you need to fabricate a plate flange. Probably you can measure all the dimensions from an existing flange. Or you may need a flange dimension chart. Before checking the dimensions, check the pressure temperature rating. This is very important. To download the charts and drawings, check the description for links. Here, you can see all the required dimensions, including the thickness. Remember that the thickness of the plate flange depends on the purpose. So, before selecting the thickness of the plate, consult with your superiors. Let us mark this flange. Draw a line. 10 mm more than the half OD of the flange, from the edge of the plate. Cut this line, marking, half OD plus 10 mm. Punch mark this center. Draw the OD and the ID circles. Draw the PCD. Punch mark where the PCD circle cuts the center line. Since the number of the holes is 8, divide the PCD into 8 equal parts. To divide the circle easily and accurately, let us find the cord length of the holes. If you divide 360 by the number of holes, you will get the angle between two holes. Chord length equals sine 45 divided by 2 multiplied by PCD. The cord length is 192.8 mm. Adjust the divider to 192.8 mm and divide the PCD into 8 parts. Dividing the circle is not an easy job. It requires good practice. Make sure the last segment is the same as the other segments. Punch mark all the 8 divisions and draw circles of the diameter of the bolt holes if you are drilling the holes with a normal drill bit. Thank you for watching.